So one morning I was browsing eBay looking for some used GPU deals and I come across this one listing for a Strix GTX 1080 Ti and I can confirm that was not the graphics card I received. I kind of got a bit of an upgrade but without any more talking let's get straight into it and see which GPU I ended up receiving. So I saw a listing for a Strix GTX 1080 Ti and that is what this graphics card right here is. I've owned this one since 2020, this is not the one I received. And in this video, if you're thinking I'm sunburnt, you're very right because we've had like two good days of weather right here in the UK. So yeah, I've already burnt, so that's great I suppose. But back to the graphics card, I could tell there was something up with this eBay listing because in fact, the design was a Turing Strix design. This means it's an RTX 20 series graphics card. And the big giveaway was, it says GeForce RTX on the side. So I could tell from the get-go, it was not going to be a 1080 Ti. So at worst, this could be an RTX 2070 Super, thanks to the dual eight pins right here. And at best, it could be an RTX 2080 Ti. And if I scored that GPU, I'd be very, Happy. But the good news still checks out because this graphics card indeed is an RTX 2080. It's a non-super model and it's the Strix Gaming OC so it does feature a binned GPU core so I could probably push overclocks on this quite far and to be honest this GPU could probably match an RTX 3060 Ti which is great to see. And this is why I'm glad this has happened, because the RTX 2080 is slightly faster than the GTX 1080 Ti, and it also has better features like DLSS and ray tracing, and Nvidia tends to care a bit more for their RTX products than GTX. Also, I already own the GTX 1080 Ti, so yeah, I don't have a duplicate graphics card, and that's more content for you lot as I get to test the 2080, and yeah i get a faster graphics card as well which is always a bonus isn't it and the seller also took really good care of this graphics card as it's in mint condition it basically looks brand new apart from some dust on the fan blades but there's no scratches on the back plate or anything like that the seller really took care of this graphics card and it performs like brand new as well because the temperatures were looking perfectly fine and I don't even need to repaste this. He can get around the high 50s so there's no issues there and I won't need to repaste it and in fact I'll probably need to buy some new thermal paste so it's probably a good job I don't need to repaste this GPU. Going back to the performance of both these GPUs and from some early benchmarking which I've been doing it does look like the RTX 2080 does have the upper hand. This is primarily in newer titles so games like Cyberpunk and I think Spider-Man was another game I tested, I can't remember off the top of my head. The graphs will be on the screen anyways. But it does look like the RTX 2080 does have the upper hand. But in an older game like Fortnite, the 1080 Ti is still holding up quite well, all things considered. And this kind of goes to show from what I believe, Nvidia doesn't really care that much for GTX anymore. They're not really optimizing the drivers for the 1080 Ti as I do believe this GPU could get better performance if the drivers were more optimized. But if you look at it from a business point of view, it's kind of fair that Nvidia are kind of ditching GTX and focusing on RTX because that's where the money is now and that's what more gamers are playing on now. If you look at the Steam survey, more gamers are playing on RTX GPUs than what they are on GTX GPUs. So it kind of makes sense that the driver support is kind of slowing down for the older GTX graphics cards. And also, as I mentioned, the 2080 features the RTX feature set. So it's got real-time ray tracing, which might actually be viable on a graphics card like this. That is something I will be testing out, so make sure you stay subscribed for that. And more importantly, in my opinion, it has deep learning super sampling, otherwise known as DLSS. Unlike FSR, which you'll be stuck to on a GTX card like this, DLSS uses the AI tensor cores in the RTX graphics cards to provide a much cleaner upscaled image, which is always a bonus. And in some games, it looks better than native. So it's basically free performance anyway. So W for the RTX card there. Even though they're both dual 8-pin GPUs, the 2080 will consume less power while getting more performance, so it's a bit more efficient as well. So if you're power conscious, this GPU is better than the 1080 Ti, but both of these graphics cards are still sapping quite a bit of power, usually 200 watts plus. 
Taking performance, technology and the general scenario into account, I think I got an absolute brilliant deal on this RTX 2080. I paid just £175 for it and they usually go for around the £200 mark. So I got about 25 quid off, but that's 25 quid saved, isn't it? Also, this GPU is in absolute immaculate condition. It runs well, it looks brilliant, and the B-roll you're seeing, you can probably tell it looks quite good. And this GPU is certainly not a lemon. I suspect this graphics card has still got a lot of life left in it. And as I can see from the early benchmarks, it looks like the RTX 2080 is going to be quite a bit faster than the GTX 1080 Ti, particularly in newer games as driver development and just the RTX feature set in general will carry this graphics card. But I suspect if we were to test some older games in that GPU benchmark, I reckon the 1080 Ti might hold its own in some older titles, particularly with the three extra gigabytes of VRAM if you're playing at high resolutions. As for the eBay seller, I'm not too sure where he got GTX 1080 Ti from because there's RTX branding blasted all over this graphics card. And it even says RTX 2080 on the back there, so I'm not too sure what happened there. But I'm not complaining as I got an RTX 2080. So I thought this was a cool little sort of GPU find and I thought I'd share it here on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed the video. But if you want to see how the RTX 2080's little brother gets on, the RTX 2070, there will be a video up there for it. And I'll catch you in the next one. I hope you have a good rest of your day.